Hey everybody, welcome to Curse Talis. Another episode. Uh, this one is going to cover creating string old concepts in ZBrush um, or polysculpting because it can be done in any polysculpting too. Now, I know I'm covering a lot of polysculpting, ZBrushing type uh, tips and tricks and demos. However, I really believe that uh, polysculpting tools will be an important part of a designer's tool set. Why? Because polysculpting allows a designer not only to, um, well, it allows the designers to experiment in 3D. And that's a big, I think that's a big thing. Um, other modeling software, traditional polygon modeling tools, uh, one has to sort of know where they're going before uh, approaching the two. In ZBrush, there's this playfulness about it that you can experiment. You can um, try out different form languages. And, and even, this is the best part for me, is that you can find form, have happy accidents. As you're working, uh, you can see something that, oh, wow, that looks cool, I'll try that. And uh, it turns out to be a great form. So uh, other, other modeling software does not allow you that, at least not to my knowledge. So uh, I believe polysculpting tools will be important. And, and I'm using, I'm doing this on a steering wheel because I think that maybe the first use of polysculpting tools such as ZBrush will be in the area of components such as stirring wheels, such as wheels, shifters, uh, smaller components that do not require that the perfect mathematical surfaces. Seats, uh, things that are naturally sort of inaccurate. So I think polysculpting ZBrush will, be, will find its way into that arena far faster than it finds its way in exteriors. So here is a stirring wheel that I developed and the stirring wheel is it's just a concept. There was no drawings done prior to beginning the, the model, but I was playing and, I, and it turned out to be okay. So now this demo is silent. I won't be going over any particular techniques here as Everything that you see here has already been done or seen in the previous videos, making hard lines and smoothing the surface and such. So, um, so what I'm presenting here is just the idea that um, you can do components with ZBrush. In fact, doing components with ZBrush is probably uh, the best thing that you can do with it at this point with this current two set. So um, sit back, uh, absorb, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a message or two in the comment section uh, below. So enjoy.